Okay, we're going to make a simple, we're going to take uh, our drawings here and make a, make two sides of a balsa, uh, balsa wood bridge here. Uh, so, you would take your styrofoam base and your tracing, your drawing, and cover it with a piece of parchment paper there. You can see, you can see the parchment paper here, and the drawing is up under there, and I have four pins right here holding the, uh, parchment paper or wax paper, what you want to call it, over the uh, our, our drawing here. So, and then I'm going to take, uh, I think I'm using 3 16 inch balsa wood, and I'm going to lay out my bridge here based on the uh, uh, my sketch here. So, this, and I'm going to speed it up here a little bit here so. Uh, but I'm going to construct this side right here, but you will construct two sides of the bridge here and you would also use your uh, top and bottom part of the bridge here. Uh, this bridge is upside down here on, on the drawing here, but uh, if it was reversed you would see this larger portion would be the superstructure what would be above here and this piece here is the substructure which would be down here, but uh, and then you have the road bed, which would be, if you had three dimensions, you would see that part. All right. Okay, you see, and I'm showing the bridge once again. I'm showing the uh, shape of the bridge here, measuring it, which would be nine and one half inches by uh, two inches. Substructure to one inch. And uh, you space evenly distribute the vertical beams across the top of the beam here okay then you would take your plywood you would take your balsa wood and, and lay it directly across the length of the uh, structure there and mark it with a pencil cut it and you would lay it down right there and, and use pins to keep it from moving See, I placed the pins at an angle here, like an X. Okay, so so the so the piece won't move. You're gonna glue it down eventually, but we're just placing these pieces here so uh, you can uh, glue them down later on. So you're gonna move, uh, cut your pieces and place them over every line, and you see I'm doing that. Build up the larger frame first, the longer pieces, and then use the shorter pieces for your internal um, pieces there. You see, I have the frame up. Of, uh, the, the superstructure is has put the I put that together now. I'm working on the substructure and um, cutting the pieces and putting putting it in place. And you see how that works there. See, I'm I'm measuring, I'm cutting and measuring the pieces there, and I'm cutting it and I'm putting them in places. So this is what you have to do for uh, each side of your bridge here. See the little small pieces going to the bottom part? You can angle them off there to the right. You can, it's more tedious, but you can make them vertical. I'm just going to decide to have to get involved with this. I'm just going to make all my substructure vertical pieces here for easy to see. See I'm marking each piece here and cutting it with the scissors here or my cutters, whatever you decide to use as a cutter. So I'm, I'm cutting the smaller pieces here. Line them up. And I 
cut a several pieces at one time so try to increase the speed a little bit there and you see the X there how I hold a piece in place I'm, I nowhere do you see I, I stick the pin into the wood because it will cause the bridge to weaken at that point so do not put the pins into the wood put it across the wood you see how the X's are made there So you see, I turn it around here. Now you can you can see how I've gotten the substructure fixed, and I'm got a little piece of sandpaper there. So um, the the rough edges when I cut the pieces there, make them square so they'll fit. Now I'm doing the vertical pieces across the uh, the sub uh, superstructure, which is the upper portion. So got that all lined up there. I'm putting the you see I, right there where I put the X across the beam there so that it will not move I do that for all the vertical pieces yes. you see I'm, I am uh, doing the horizontal the slanted pieces now the cross members there I am I'm sanding it so it looks flush a little bit. You can see how I'm trying to make it fit nicely. I'm doing it all the way across the bridge, make the pieces fit nicely because I'm coming back and and uh, glue those joints in there. Turn it around so you can see there. I'm fitting the pieces into the into the uh, structure there. See nowhere do you see I'm touching. Uh, I'm putting. The pins in the wood. I'm putting the pins again across the wood. Get your piece of sandpaper. You see right there. I got a a small piece of sandpaper and I'm sanding the uh, edges of the balsa wood so they could fit at an angle fit it nicely you know so I got sandpaper if you like to use the sandpaper for the rough edges or the ending edges once you cut the uh, balsa wood there so I did this in about uh, let's see I don't know 30 minutes so you can do the same thing I'm building up this superstructure here and you see how it goes there same process all the way across measure cut place A lot of pins there. Okay, so the less pins you have, the better it is to glue, so it won't get in the way. So you want to glue the pins to the project. It'll be hard to get them out. And keep the pins away from the joints. You don't see any pins near the joints where I, I the joints. What I mean by that are the intersections. Let's see the measure right there okay I'm cutting right there so and place so measure cut and place okay measure cut and you place it in all right All right, I've got all the pins in place. Looks like a, oh, okay. Now I'm starting to glue. You see, I'm putting the glue in the upper left corner there. I'm putting the glue right there on the joint there. So put the glue on every joint there, okay? Every joint there. Put a drop of glue. Try to make it neat. Don't have glue 
a, a, a tsunami of glue there. So just a little small drop of glue at every joint. Okay. And you see I'm holding the other piece of wood down so it sometimes the glue if it's, will pick up the piece if it's not down good enough. Okay. I'm just a little bit of glue there. Not much. Going just a these are these are symbol symbolistic of uh the welding joints if this were steel, okay? And each piece and I want you to count the number of joints that you have eventually and that tell you the cost of the welding of this project. If you had to actually make this out of steel, a welder would cost would charge you so much per joint. So that is purpose of the glue. It symbolizes the weld. And once the uh, bridge has dried, you would remove the uh, pens and paper, and you would have uh, a piece like this, similar to that. And you have to do it twice. You have two pieces. Uh, all pieces will be glued together. I mean, yeah, you know, like this, glued together. And I'm doing this in the dark. That's why I come. It looks this way. And then you would uh, uh, assemble those pieces. I'll show you that later in another video probably and you would eventually have a a four-sided this is one another student I did a four-sided bridge here let me turn the lights on here now you can see that part there you go that's, that's a, a one side of a bridge there it's made using that process I just described there's the other side at piece there, and then you would have be with some of those pieces into a full structure. This is another one, another student's made. This is not the one that we made though, but the bridge. Uh, this is a nice one here though. They reinforced the top there. They reinforced the bottom. Uh, you got the uh, you got the road bed through there. So this is one uh, extra effort here. But you see the side there, side there, and the side over here there okay but uh and then then we will we will test these bridges here see how much force it takes to for a member to uh fail and there you have it and uh, let's get started and let's see how we do